welcome to the Mount Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church Network, where we are building faith and transforming lives, where our senior pastor is the Reverend James I. Perkins. Okay, the name is Good Times Inflatables. And Good Times Inflatables. Good Times Inflatables, and we rent high quality inflatables to churches. Uh, backyard parties. I mean, we do family reunions. We do. I mean, all sorts of things. Yeah. All sorts of things. They and kids are, and, and adults. I mean, we yeah. got the kids and adults. We got things to handle adults and um, we run inflatables. And you mean that I could get in an inflatable <laughs> nerve and I I could do some of these things? Yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> if you ain't five hundred pounds, I think we got something for you. No, 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 no. Five hundred pounds. I'd be good at that nerve. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, what started me, uh, Rip, um, my kid, we read one for my kid. And um, he was wanting to get it every week. I mean, every, Daddy, can we get it again? Can we? I said, man, I can't afford this thing every week. <laughs> I said, man, this thing's $250 every week. And I just thought about it. You know, I said, I'm, you know, I'm invested in one, you know. Yeah. And I invested in one back in 2003, back in 2003. But I didn't really take it serious. I didn't have no insurance, though. And I just wanted to, you know, just... Step out there for the first time, yeah, you know, yeah. just, and and you know, just do it, and then you know, when I started renting them out, with no one short shit because I didn't, I wasn't aware, you know, I had to do, do all these things, you know, yeah. I'm knowledgeable of that. But as the time grew on, you know, I said I had to get insurance, got to get my specs, got to do this, this. So and we went from our room for, um from one to down probably about thirty. You know, it's it's unusual for inflatables. You know, what? How did you just? Well, you just said, but. Just an inflatable part. Did you ever imagine that it would mushroom into no. what you have now? I did not. It is a slow process, Rev, uh, but um, I didn't think it was going to take off the way it is. And and back then, we didn't have as much like internet, like Facebook. And right. So I was on the radio. I was going, going through I Wanna, yeah. uh, stuff like that, because Facebook wasn't around then when right. I first, first started, you know. Yeah. And um, But Facebook kept us all off. But and, Nerve, and I know that... Uh, you and your wife both, and we can't mention, what would you say the name of it is? Uh, good Times Inflatable. We can't mm -hmm. mention Good Times Inflatable without mentioning your wife, because oh, yeah. I know you got to go back home oh, with that, yeah. you know. <laughs> but, but she played an yes. integral part she does. In, in this as well. She does. And Nerva, I know that, were you working? Did you have a, another mm -hmm. job while yes. you were doing yes, that? Yes, I sure did. I was at Burn Hawk Furniture, and uh, well, I've been up posting all my life. I've been up posting 18 years old to yeah. probably... Well, since I started this, well, since I quit to run this business, and yeah. which was probably three years ago, I went full time in this business. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, I posted, I posted furniture at Bernhardt, and uh, for so many years, and and it was just you know, and it it, get, it come to a point where you know I was using the phone at the company, you know, that, <laughs> I can't use the phone, get off the phone, yeah, you know, yeah. God, yeah. man. And you know, I was getting phone calls, I was getting phone calls from uh from my customers, yeah, and I was like, man, I. And the time just hit me, you know, my, me and my wife was talking about it, I said, you might well quit, you know, because I don't think that, you know, you're going to be able to answer the phone calls and right. do all this, you know, on the yeah. job. So it felt so good to go <laughs> to the boss and, yeah. you know, you, yeah, I'm quitting, you know. Yeah. yeah. I give it a week's notice and yeah, and it's, it's just been ever since then. Well, it's been good ever yeah. since then. Mm -hmm. well, well, what about your clientele, your, your customers, Nerve? How, how, do you, how do they reach you or how did they know about you or what did you do? Through Facebook, Rev, through Facebook mainly, but um, well, we got so many, you can Google us. I mean, five years ago, you Google us, we was well, nowhere we live. But if you Google us now, we, we at the top. You That's know? great. Yeah, That's and, uh, great. And you can just Google us, and a lot of people use the internet and Google us, and yeah. that's how they find us, then word of mouth, yeah. and it just takes off from there, you know? It yeah. spins, you know? I like the way you put an emphasis on that. We are at the top. Yeah, we you are. Know, you, you Google you, me now. You, you, Google you won't us. have no problem finding me. It's, it's true. I mean, <laughs> and I didn't. We didn't run no Google ads or nothing. That's what my wife was talking about. My wife and my son. He does all the media stuff. You know, like your son. Yeah. And, um, he does all the media, making the videos of how to roll it up, how to do all that. Yeah. And um, and we was talking about the other night, and we really, I mean, you Google us five years ago, we were not nowhere in sight. Yeah. But now, yeah. You know, and it feels so good. To, you know. Yeah. Well, I know you don't do all this by yourself. Oh. Uh, do you have any employees, mm -hmm. or how many employees, or we, how did you get? We uh, we we try to keep as much family as we can. Okay. I got my son coming home. I got a seventeen year old son that helps me. He's a senior at West Caldwell. Yeah. And uh, my nephew, uh, Mitchell Missouse, he comes. He helps me every weekend. And oh. then I have two other guys that help me. And they. Oh, okay. Yeah, you definitely couldn't do it by yourself. I tell you. No man. It's rough. 
It's yeah. rough. It's rough. It's, 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 it's a rough job, but I, I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, I, I know. Now, Nerve, did you have to, I'm sure you had to train these guys and mm -hmm. watch over them through some of their oh, mix-ups and oh, yeah. tear up. Or oh. <laughs> have, you, have you had any times where, gosh, man, I need to get this done. We got this job yeah. in 20 minutes. When I tell you, Rev, every weekend, me and my wife like panicking, like, because certain certain inflators got to be there at certain times, you know? We got right. so many going out, we're like, this got to be here at 10. This one also got to be here at 10. But we get through it somehow. We manage it. And it, uh, it's rough. It, it's rough. Yeah. And a lot of times we run three trucks and trailers in a week. To get oh, back, you okay. Know? And then sometimes, like on the Saturday event, we had a lot of Saturday these events. We have to do them on Friday nights. You know? Oh, set up. Yeah, to set Friday. up on Friday evening just to give us a little more room for Saturday, yeah. you know? Yeah. And a lot of customers, they don't mind. They'll say, yeah, come on, sure, you know? Uh -huh. and that's, what, that's the way we do well, well, how do you, who, who does your, your booking and your dates and stuff like that? No, no. My wife. My I wife. say, it had to be a wife. <laughs> it had to be the wife to yeah, keep things in yes, order. Yes, oh, it's a head yeah, too. She was like, yeah, it's a job in itself, just trying to keep everything on schedule, yeah. getting them there, and, you know, mm hmm well, that's and we and we do a lot of people. We do professional football players. Really? Yes. yes. Well, Nerf, what what is your uh, your limit? How far do you go out, or okay. do you, or do you have a certain mileage? For I you? do. We try to keep it within an hour from my location, an okay. hour drive. Yeah. But um, the farthest I go is a high point, and that's the football players, and yeah, and we go to him. I matter of fact, we just come back from there last week. When I told you last week, I was coming from High Point. Yeah. And then you know with the COVID thing, but um. But I uh, was coming from High Point, picking up one from him, and um, he played for the Miami Dolphins, and, and he's a big client of ours. And I mean, oh, man. I mean, when we go, you know, he just calls, you know, and he, he makes it worth our while to go, you know. Oh, and, I was, yeah. and that's the furthest I ever travel, and that's like yeah. an hour and forty minutes away yeah. Yeah. from the house and whatnot. Well, do do you do you stay on site when you set one up? Do you have to stay there? Are you required to stay no, there? No, no, Rev, I'm not. We we used to set up and come back and pick up, um, and not unless they ask us, like maybe, right. maybe a church or something. Yeah, and then we pay them like an hourly fee to stay there to, to attend the units. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we usually set up and uh, come back the next day and pick up pick up the unit the next yeah. day. If it's at a church or a park or something, we come back the same day. You know, if it's at, oh. you know, oh, but okay. at a residence, we pick up the next day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well there, and and I know that every business. Whether it be yours or mm -hmm. a store or restaurant, mm -hmm. has been affected by the COVID. Mm -hmm. And with your business communicating, I mean, associating with people, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. have you had any? Have you noticed any downturn? Or we have I had a, a lot of cons um, a lot of cancellation due to COVID. Yeah, and you know, and uh, it's just come with the territory. But um, but somehow when we get cancellation, we get someone added on too. You know. Yeah. The, uh, you, you, we probably have just as many people, you know, cancellation during, you know, the COVID season, uh, the COVID, you know, with the pandemic going on. But we usually just fill in. I mean, they usually don't last long, you know. But yeah. I, I can truly say that um, last year with the COVID system, uh, with the COVID pandemic going on, that that's probably one of our better years. Oh, and really? Year, yeah. I guess people just want to stay home and not yeah. go out and binge. Right. You know, just want to stay in their own back. So when you set up in their fact yard, mm -hmm. it's for that family. Yes, for They're the family. They're not inviting yeah, exactly. a whole yeah, array of yeah. folks mm -hmm. or doing nothing. Yes, yes. So letting mm -hmm. the children have a little yes. out time mm -hmm. or by themselves mm -hmm. time. Yes, exactly. Well, that's right. good. That's mm -hmm. good. Nerf, yeah. Now, how many, uh, how, many inflate, how many inflatables do you have or how often do you have to replace one or okay we um we have i think we have right at 30 31 give give or take 30 31 and um we we try to rotate our inventory every three to four years try to you know just yeah fresh inventory and yeah. we just sell them off to another company or oh, a church okay. or something you know yeah. donate to a church or something yeah know, if it don't come usable to us you know yeah but, and uh, it's still used, but we just try to rotate, keep our inventory free. Okay. It's just what we do every now, four or five years. Now, you just open up a can of worms here, and, and I have to jump on this. You, you, you open this up. No. You said you donate to, yeah. to business or church. Yeah. The only thing that I heard. Yeah. Now, now nerve. Mount Pilgrim is still on Willow Street oh, in West End. Yeah. When you start donating and okay. you start yeah. to. Sure, sure, sure thing. I love this church. Now, I tell you, I'm a little boy run. Actually, running through the church, you know, just playing around yeah, as yeah. a kid, you know. And, and you tell it on yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sato used to give us all. 
<laughs> yeah, but yeah, I love this church, man. I tell you, it's you know home, you know home. Absolutely, you know, I feel so with me anytime I step foot. Well, I, I'm glad to you hear know, that, and mm -hmm, I don't want mm -hmm. you to feel any different. Yes, and brother, I have, I'm here. Who's here? Yes, I have. This no is different. home. It to, is. To, it to sure is. Nerve and, and it sure Jody, is. Mm -hmm. you know the family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. This this is home. But, mm -hmm. but nerve. Uh, how many how many employees do you maintain? I know, and I didn't know this. You say you have a son that comes back home. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got a son that lives out. Yes, as he comes. Yes, he's a uh, matter of fact. He probably he's a YouTuber, man. You know, you know, yeah. he comes home on the weekend and helps me. You yeah, know, get them flavors out and everything. He's a he's a big part of the business. Sure, I'm, I'm thinking that you are a young <laughs> man and that you just. 30 or 40 no, years man, old, but man, I, I, and I'm, I'm looking at my yeah. son. <laughs> yeah, I just turned 49 years old, yeah. man. And I, you know, we and we try to get the right proper equipment to, for our guys to yeah. use, you know, like yeah. whether the hand trucks, big motorized hand trucks cost a lot of money, you yeah, know, because them things get heavy, you know, I just try to, you know, yeah. I want, I want my, I want the people that work with me to stay with me, you know, and right. I, we, try, I, we try to make it easy as possible. Yeah, you know? yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. How mm -hmm. many, how many employees do you have there? Uh, probably uh, five, maybe. Yeah. Five, just, yeah. And then some just works on, you know, just don't get many hours. Some just come and hit me clean, you know. Yeah, or some, yeah. You know, that don't take long. But this, I, I know what they're doing, mm -hmm, though. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stand over somebody yeah. and do this or yeah, move yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. That, that makes your makes job it, a whole lot easier. Uh, set a whole lot, a whole easier. lot easier. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just a it's just learning process through everything. Like, my 17 year old kid, I'm trying to teach him how to back a trailer, you know, just simple things like that. We be out in the yard, man, I put up the cones, you know, <laughs> got to back his trailer, son, you know, I mean, that's what man. I'm teaching him now. <laughs> I'm a good Come puller down. in, but I, <laughs> Douglas is good at that. Yeah. Back in trailers. Yeah. Up. And, and there they that. say, well, if you want to go left, <laughs> you turn the trailer yeah. right. Or, Man, I tell you, it's started, man, I tell you what, I'm like, man, I can't do this, you know. <laughs> but uh, it gets easier and easier. The yeah. more you pull the trailer, and, you know, it gets easier and easier. And that's so, what he's learning Yeah, now, huh? yeah, yeah. To, to go without daddy. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, I want to, yeah, sometimes I stay home and say, man, I ain't going, you know. My yeah. wife said, yeah, don't go, you know. I just let them guys go out well, and take that's, care. Well, that's the good you know? part mm -hmm. about it. There, we make videos on how to roll, how to unroll and everything, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. It's good, like you said, you you try to keep it in the family, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure you stretch out a little beyond yeah, there mm -hmm. and give a brother a mm -hmm. chance. But, oh, but yeah, there, you yeah. got to be very careful mm -hmm. with the people that you hire because you're going into a person's yard oh, yes. or, oh, yes. or house oh, yes. or they around their children and or we, you whatever. Know, yeah, I mean even kids, you know, I mean, you know, you got to be, you know, going around kids in yeah. general, you know, yeah. some people don't, you know, won't you be touching their kids or yeah. anything like that, so you got to yeah. be careful. You got to you you know. watch who you hire. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Well, listen, brother, I could continue this conversation on and on and on, <laughs> but I know I promised you 10 minutes, <laughs> yes, and that's what that's we're going to do, but yeah. Nerve, again, I can't say it enough. I'm, now, Nerve, Tell me your wife's before I miss her name. Natalie. Natalie. Natalie I'm so and they call proud. her Prissy. I'm, I'm going to say Natalie. <laughs> okay. I, I'm so proud of, of you and Natalie, yeah, for what you. you guys have accomplished, thank and, you. Thank uh, you so much. and continue to go on mm -hmm. and continue to, to, to be together. Mm -hmm. thank Got a 17 year old son and mm -hmm. a grown son mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. other sons. Mm -hmm. You're not with just your son. Yeah. Herb, you've stretched out beyond your door. Oh, yeah. You've helped other mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. along. So, mm -hmm. man, uh, that that's why. God is continually blessing you. And there, when you continue to do good things, mm -hmm. good things will come back mm -hmm. to you. So, mm -hmm. so I'm, a, I'm again proud of you. And I could go on so and on and on talking that. about I, I, I'm not talking about you no <laughs> yeah. more. We, we're going to have to close this thing out. But I don't want our, our viewers to forget our homecoming nerve and mm -hmm. that's going to be Saturday. Okay. Uh, we're going to have uh, singing and food and this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you'll enjoy that. And then on Sunday morning, we'll be coming back with a Sunday morning worship service. Mm -hmm. Brother uh, Benjamin Coverson mm -hmm. from Morganton mm -hmm. is going yeah, to be yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, and following our weekend, our revival will start on Monday, Monday the 20th, Monday the 20th. So, uh, uh, Pastor Terry Hunt will be here on the 20th, uh, Pastor Juan Johnson. We'll be here on the 21st, oh, hello, hello, hello. and Brother Medley, Daryl mm -hmm. Medley, will be here on the 22nd. That's All right. these services yeah, Darryl, start at uh, 7 o'clock. Daryl Medley, my brother. Is it yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Well, you got to bring your family yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure do, yeah. So, mm -hmm. please, ma'am, and please, sir, uh, make uh, this way your weekend, and then just follow it up with a good words from the Lord. 
So I thank you, uh, thank you. Mr. Everett, Mr. <laughs> Everett, thank you for being here with us and, and may God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to another exciting segment of Straight Talk, where we get straight to the questions and answers that you would like to ask some of the leading people in Caldwell County. We look forward to bringing you podcasts that make an impact in our communities. So tune in every Thursday at 7 o'clock, where we will bring you Straight Talk. We want to keep you informed on activities that are going on within our communities. Be blessed. We will see you next week.